you. You know that peace of Christ soon leads to the courage and the freedom of Christ. And we experience that in the next part of our worship, the time known as Time for Discovery. And whoo, are you feeling the heat today? Is it summer? Whoo, or is it the fire of the Holy Spirit? Because I'm seeing some fire going on up here on the communion table, and that fire may come in handy. You know, fire is dangerous, and we pray for people battling fires. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. But when we see the fire of the Holy Spirit, it reminds us of the power of the Spirit, the Pentecostal power of the Spirit to help us out in life. And we celebrate that on Pentecost Sunday. So we just told the story of Pentecost. It's found in the book of Acts, actually. And you've been singing some Holy Spirit songs, some of them more challenging than others. So I love that opening song that you made it through. We've sung it before. Remember when we had the kite theme a few years ago? We had a whole kite theme. So lots of images of the Holy Spirit. So we're going to experience some more uh, powers of the Spirit. So you might want to have your superpower of the Spirit ready. Can you ball up your hands if you're willing and able? Ball up your hands, put them by your heart, and go. Got it? So this is your Holy Spirit superpower. And everybody, you know, all sorts of like summer blockbuster movies going on. Well, you have your own superpower of the Holy Spirit to help you get through life because life is hard and the world can be challenging. So Jesus talks about the power of the Spirit and the power of the world. The world can sometimes be kind of menacing. And what are we going to do when the world approaches us and you don't know what to do? Oh, here comes the world. Oh, we're going to deploy, ready, our Holy Spirit superpower to the world. And look, it impacts the world for good. So you're ready to use your Holy Spirit powers today for the world. The world is so full of challenge. Oh, you guys, you've got your powers ready there? Okay, they've got actual fire to help, the, the fire of goodness that helps us cook up things, you know? The fire that helps us show power and strength. So, all right, you guys ready for the world, the challenges of the world? That, okay, the world might be throwing stuff at you. So let's see what happens next. John 17. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known, so that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Excellent. Oh, did you see all that deployment of the Holy Spirit calming the world down? So we all have that power. Let's have a listen and repeat prayer. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Into our hearts. Into our hearts. Into our lives. Into our lives. 
us into the world, into the world, so that we can change it for good. So that we can change it for good. In Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for helping the power of the Spirit come to life today.